Xiaomi has unveiled its new phone series and user interface. In this video, we'll take a detailed look at the new phones and the interface. Before we start, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Enjoy watching. This year, Xiaomi skipped the 16 series and went straight from last year's 15 series to the new 17 series. The current models are Xiaomi 17, Xiaomi 17 Pro, and Xiaomi 17 Pro Max. Honestly, the naming is very reminiscent of Apple, which has bothered some users. Those who want Xiaomi to be more original don't like this naming, while others are happy because they think Apple users switching to Xiaomi won't find it strange and can transition more easily. What do you think? Do you think Xiaomi's naming choice is appropriate? The Xiaomi 17 features a 6.3-inch display with a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate. Unfortunately, the rear display isn't available on the base model. Storage options include 256GB and 512GB, and it comes with a massive 7000 mAh silicon carbon battery. Honestly, I like the silicon carbon battery because as lithium-ion batteries increase in capacity, phones tend to get thicker and heat up more. Silicon carbon batteries reduce these issues, allowing higher capacity batteries in smaller sizes. Speaking of batteries, the phone supports 100-watt wired and 50-watt wireless fast charging. RAM options are 12GB and 16GB, and it's powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 processor, currently the most powerful mobile chip on the market. For cameras, it has a 50-megapixel main camera, an ultra-wide camera, and a telephoto camera. The Xiaomi 17 Pro also has a 6.3-inch display with a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate. But this model includes a rear screen as well, a 2.7-inch AMOLED display with 120Hz dynamic refresh. Storage options are 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB, with 12GB and 16GB RAM options. The battery is 6,300mAh, and unlike the Xiaomi 17, it has two rear cameras. It also supports 100-watt wired and 50-watt wireless charging and is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 processor. The Xiaomi 17 Pro Max features a huge 6.9-inch display with a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate. The rear screen measures 2.9 inches. Storage options are 512GB and 1TB with 12 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes RAM. It has two rear cameras and comes with an enormous 7,500 milliamp hour battery. In terms of pricing, the base Xiaomi 17 starts at 540 euros, the Xiaomi 17 Pro at 600 euros, and the Xiaomi 17 Pro Max at 700 euros. I'm preparing this video at the end of September, so if there are any price updates or errors, I'll note them in a pinned comment. Now that we've covered the Xiaomi 17 series, let's look at the new features introduced with HyperOS 3. This year's launch highlighted Xiaomi's AI efforts. The Super Xiao Eye Assistant can recognize on-screen content and provide context-aware responses. Users can circle content on the screen to search, translate, or share. The improved translation system now supports 29 languages, and dynamic wallpapers offer pet or character-based customization. The Super Island feature has been upgraded with more dynamic animations for live events and notifications, and is now compatible with over 70 apps. Many new features have been added, from AI-generated dynamic wallpapers to automatic depth effects. HyperOS 3 builds on last year's HyperCore technology, reducing CPU load by 4%, increasing energy efficiency by 10%, and decreasing frame drops by 18.9%. On the gaming side, app launch speed increased by 21%, video playback improved by 10%, and touch latency decreased by 9%. Additionally, photo and file sharing with iPhones is now possible. Currently, all eligible devices are being gradually upgraded to HyperOS 3. So, what do you think? Do you think the new naming is good or bad? Does Xiaomi's Super Island feature show promise, or is it still weaker compared to Apple? Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.